Hi everyone, welcome to Handicraft Say to Z channel. I got my carpet loom out of the husband's garage and I found a space where I can fit it in the house. So this is the loom, it's, it's apart. So let me tell, tell about you about the construction itself. These are the top and bottom bars. I need to figure out which one is top, which one is bottom because it depends on the size of the pins here these are vertical bars the that's the bottom part that's the space for the one of the bars over here this is the sliding bar the one that regulates the tension and the size of the carpet this is the handle bar holder uh, it, it, it's, this car this loom is using the antique way of raising the shed just the sliding plank piece of wood and that would be probably somewhere around here this is one of the oldest uh, actually the the bars that the warp is actually tied onto i think this one is the one that came with the loom that's my old one the one from the metal loom that part of which was stolen so i had to get rid of it dispose it and this is the the actual holder that's where the the bar, the vertical bar will go into, and that's it. And also, I got this. This is the height regulator, the tension regulation system. It's very simple. Just roll the knot and get to the level that you need. So, and these are pins. So that will be it. I think, let me see, actually both of them have holes, so I need to figure out which one is the top, I think this well, actually doesn't matter, they are equal, so any of them can be the top and any can be the bottom, as far as this part is remaining the same. and that's it so probably in a couple of days i'll start assembling it so far i still got my flowers in that room where i'll plan to put the loom but as soon as it will be warm enough enough by night time to get all the flowers out that would be definitely first thing in first thing to build and i'll probably set the height as low as possible somewhere around here i guess i will we'll, we'll check that once i get the vertical bars installed i'll see how how high the the loom itself but actually it was made for me to to work on a regular chair so any any chair any actually the uh, the workout bench that i've borrowed from my husband that he's not longer using it should be fine to sit on it's not very low but the size of the general average chair so nothing else to add just assemble everything before I started assembling the loom I had to redo the holes for the bars that would hold the tension and well generally keep the up the upper bar in the up position I had to redo the holes here because I don't have videos of the loom while it was gathered but believe me the, the metal bars they're about 80 degree angle so I had to redo the holes and you can see oops and you can see how far they were done in here just look at the angle this is how it was actually bended over and the same thing over here that's the old one as you can see it's, this one is better but still not still off the grid and since i've done that i'm ready to assemble everything together i faced another problem here that i, I couldn't understand why i cannot place the 
the screw, the screw through the frame and th through the stand and then I realized that this one is also assembled with a problem as you can see the angle is not straight it's about um, not, instead of 90 it's about 85 degrees so what I have to do I probably have to wait for assistance with my husband so it will be three of us my son will hold the hold the frame uh, my husband will be pushing these two planks together and I'll, I'll insert the screw and locate everything so we'll see what we can do tomorrow now the with the help of two clumps and planks of wood we have managed to align all three holes on top and now we have to align the other two because if you leave it like this the the frame will just flip over so we're trying to find the uh, the right hole the right space as you can see some of them are misaligned so we need to find the hole that will be all in one direction and insert the screw and tighten the tighten the knots so one one part will be ready and we'll start with the second one which is uh, de deformed heavier than this one so wish us luck and hopefully tomorrow we'll get all uh, everything sorted out now the two stands of the right of the frame are installed with the help of clamp and I've made the the screws inwards because I'll be walking around a lot but I barely will touch this part anyway and it will be covered with some silicone caps if I find them so just make sure that they are both installed with the handle holders facing towards you that's where it will be the handle holder and now the easiest part is, is to ins insert the bars and then the another difficult task is install the 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 the, the advancing mechanism now the bars have installed the only thing we have to do is to fix them with the wedges over here and the last thing is install metal bars that will hold the tension and help advancing the thread the warp when i start with uh, warping i'll probably start at about this height so when everything is warped i'll raise it up and to advance i'll just drop it down and it will be done with the metal rods here and we'll continue sweating and swearing so there's only one more step is to lubricate <coughs> the, the knot here so it will allow easier uh, changing the shed so the shed is formed by this knot it's stuck at the moment because it needs lubrication but generally it will slide up and down uh, those slots so basically the loom is ready and just to test make sure everything is going up and down correctly and I'm ready to weave. The last thing that's left is to tie the rope uh, to the wedges that would hold the, the skeins. And this is the place for the bar, for the handle bar. It has to be polished, but there's just, just a minor thing left. So at last, the loom is here. And just as we were advancing, the top bar... Uh, to, to the upper position and re we realized that the slot for it has been cut terribly just because the loom was not in use at all I didn't I couldn't figure out that this is the issue just look at that so you have to lower everything and take about one or two millimeters off from which side this one is actually more or less okay but that side is terrible so we'll continue uh, assembling, well, it's not assembling, but tuning up the loom tomorrow. And hopefully everything will be done. I just don't know how I can, I warp this myself. 
but I'll try. I'll see what I can do. I'll probably do the something else, not Periabadil, because it with the yarn with the warp I have, I have about three centimeters left to manipulate, which is not really comfortable to work. So I'll probably choose something that's about 60 knots smaller, so I'll have at least uh, seven, uh, six centimeters on each side, so that I can first of all I can man manipulate with the with the levers uh, to advance the warp, and well, to work comfortably in general. Just look at that. Look at the angle. This part is stuck. This one is going up. So when we try to push that side, this this side comes up higher, but that one remains the same. So we'll we'll do that tomorrow. And for today we're going to the to party with our friends for the barbecue.